watch these two battle someone against each other in a shopping trip to see whose list reigns supreme on this episode of Vegan vs. Carnivore. Hello again, and... <laughs> so it's kind of a gloomy day out, and Amanda was like, let's go shopping and show everyone what we buy separately. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea, because we have, would you say, pretty wildly different diets? Uh-huh. And, and don't hold back, just get whatever you want. And then um, maybe we'll make some improvements based upon what we get right now. Yeah. So don't be a try hard. Like, just get what no. you want. I'll get exactly what I'll eat throughout the week. I do think as we get back into, like, like fitness and stuff like that, we'll see how much it changes, like, down the road. Mm -hmm. Like, what a, what a shopping looks like for us. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, we just started and we already have a problem. It's kind of BS because I feel like I'm going to be at a handicap for having healthy stuff in my cart. And she's already trying to claim cucumbers, which is like one of the few things I know I'm going to get that's healthy. Which is completely unfair. So I feel like I should, by default, get cucumbers and tomatoes because I eat a lot of those. Okay, I will allow it, but listen, you have to put them not in a bag, and in your cart. Okay, so Amanda's one of those people that recycles, and yes, there's so some reasoning behind it. We're cutting down on our single-use plastics, so if you want to get them, you just have to put them in your cart. No plastic. Like my peppers. All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> We're off to a good start, but uh, I don't know, it feels weird to not put them in a bag. <laughs> She's making fun of me because I keep asking her where all the vegetables are. Where, where are the tomatoes? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Best tasting spaghetti sauce. Rao's homemade marinara. All right. Boom. We're right here. Got him. So we've been putting in work. My cart's pretty. Full. It's actually getting kind of heavy. Mine's done. I'm done. Oh, you're done? Yep. This feels like a big commitment to crunchy peanut butter. Like, I'm going to get sick of this. I feel like I can be done. Yeah. All right. We good? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out separately, too. Okay. That makes sense. So we're going to see who's cost more. All right. What's up? It's taking you so long. Look at me. I'm done already. What's that? <laughs> I'm gonna go put mine away. See you back at the car. Right. I have my stuff loaded up already. I'm in the car and I'm waiting on her now. So I am the winner so far. Small victories, gotta take them when I can get them. I would like to point out, normally I would be out and helping her, but uh, <laughs> this is a different theme today. I'm super curious too what our totals came up to. Me too. <laughs> so how do you think you did? I yeah? Yeah. I didn't see a whole lot of, uh, there are, you, you did get some sweets, so. I got those because Shane and um, Parker really like them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the organic? I got store brand a lot of stuff. So probably not. Sorry, I'm judging you a little. It's fine. What Brownie else? buyer. Okay, before uh, you judge me based on what I purchased, I do want to point out that I made a cardinal sin. What is the cardinal sin of grocery shopping? Don't go while you're hungry. Oh, I was so hungry when we got there. I mean, I wasn't hungry at all. So I feel like that did mm -hmm. manipulate what we bought. It really like does. for me, big time. So when I go hungry, that's when I end up with more sweets. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. You okay. walk me through what we got going on here. Okay. So, 
So I, I, we talked about it in the car, and there were, so, I said that there, there were some things that I wouldn't normally buy. Um, I also forgot that I'm also making pico. So I got more tomatoes than normal, and I got limes. I don't normally get limes. Okay. And I got um, jalapeno, which we have plenty up there, but I don't know if they do there. Yeah, so. I do want to point out we have what's called a garden, mm -hmm. uh, G-A-R-D-Y-N, because that's how they market it. It's... Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, what would you describe that as? Like a hydroponic, that is supposed to be able to feed like a family of four in it's where they wouldn't even be able to keep up with it. And we do pretty well with it, but we do have to supplement a lot. I'm gonna try to get into canning and doing some more like in, indoors, maybe even having a- uh, Greenhouse? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so back to what we are doing. Okay, so I got my peppers I normally get, I got, you got the cucumbers today. Okay. I would normally get cucumbers. Um, broccoli. And I got the bread, mushrooms. where you would normally get the bread. I have mushrooms. This I would not say is a health food, but I love to make it with my um, mushrooms. What is that? Um, mashed potatoes. Garlic mashed potatoes. Garlic mashed potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> those are my jam. Um, I those are I good. I love to eat these with, when I steam some um, broccoli and mm -hmm. mushrooms and onions. It's so good. Um, I got the, these are the dates for the when mm -hmm. the oat milk comes. Um, I got more organic cherries and roasted pecans because I made last time I was looking for the pistachios. Mm -hmm. So I like to combine them together, but they didn't have any, so I substitute. Now, just a disclaimer: you would you classify yourself as totally vegan or loose vegan? Um, strict vegetarian, loose vegan. So do you eat cheese? I'll eat cheese once in a while. Once in a while, okay. Yeah. I got vegan cheese here. Okay. And then I got some beets, some pickled beets, some Impossible Burger, salad, tortilla chip, oats, and some of those that we were out. Yeah, yeah, I actually am kind of excited to try mm -hmm. these. Oh, just three beef. real ingredients, it says. Mm -hmm. This other one says just seven real ingredients. Yeah. This also, I love these. They're okay. Not vegan, but they're delicious. Uh, oh, I forgot, vegan ranch too. Mm, Junk food. Hard pass on that. I like to make my own. Make I your prefer own ranch? no, make my own salad dressing. Let us know too down in the comments which which one you would prefer when we're done. I think I spent a lot more. So so let's get into this. What did you spend? What was this? What, what's the grand total on what you spent? One thirty-seven twenty-three. One thirty-seven twenty-three. So do you feel good about that? Um, for what well, you got. I was kind of mad because I thought that these were on sale. And guess how much this tiny bag was? What? Almost $9. Gross. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was going to say, don't don't lean on that as yeah. your... Let me double so, that. so you guess what I spent. I should have guessed what, I, what you spent, but you, you based... Alright, we'll see. Now your turn. Alright, so uh, first things first, bread. I don't normally buy bread if I go to the grocery store by myself because Amanda is usually good about buying it. So we got the bread. Uh, beef fajitas, some of these, I like to snack on the peppered salami. I'm probably not gonna make fajitas with these. I just like how convenient this is to like make uh, like steak sandwiches like with the sourdough. Ooh, toasted up. Some, some little aioli on there. Uh, some of the aioli? Is, yeah. Where, would you make your own aioli? Yeah. Steve used to make it all the time. Do so okay? another disclaimer. Here, now keep this in consideration when we get to my grand total. Some of the stuff is just stuff we were, we, were, we ran out of. Mm -hmm. um, like vinegar, vinegar, I got uh, red and white lime vinegar, mustard, ketchup, and peanut butter was, I think it's getting sort of low. Sky Valley Sriracha. Okay. Never heard of it. So they didn't have any of that? Because none. I've been looking for it. No, this Often. is all they had. Wow. I wonder why that is too. They haven't had this in stock in a long time. Yeah. Also notice. <gasps> plant basing non-GMO. Mm -hmm. Cool, babe. Mm -hmm. Good job. The mustard potato salad is my jam. They have mm -hmm. the Amish kind too, but like store-bought cucumbers, as we said earlier, usually Amanda will scoop some up. We also grow them in our garden. I did not bag them. That was the disclaimer <laughs> I got to buy them. Chobani. This is definitely a me purchase. Got the Chobani. I feel like you can't go wrong when it's just mixed. 
Mixed berry, like we're good to go. Got some fettuccine noodles. On the fly, funny story, a couple came up right behind me and this lady grabbed this exact thing and looked at her husband and said, honey, this is the best stuff right here. And I go, I popped in and said, yep, I just Googled it and can confirm this is the best stuff. And then he and I ended up talking for a while. Pretty funny. I never put two and two together. I buy these soups made mm -hmm. by the same company. Mm -hmm. I never put two and two together. Some snacks, got garlic parmesan, pretzel chips. What a store brand ramen, uh, Mater's, cottage cheese, numero uno rule with cottage cheese is small curd is trash. Don't get small curd, large curd is where it's at. So we're committed to crunching peanut butter cliff bars for a while, hopefully I don't get sick of those. Some protein one, and then canned vegetables. Now, do you know what my favorite thing about these canned vegetables is? If you are someone, I'm dabbling in prepping so one of the beautiful things about buying canned vegetables is two and a half years shelf life. Like a lot of this stuff over here, like we have to eat it soon. And we throw a lot of stuff away. We're trying to get better about that. Amanda, this is her fault. She pointed <laughs> these out and said, there's those pizzas I always get you. That's what you sound like to me. <laughs> House blend burgers, some hot dogs, bun lights because I'm a weirdo and I don't eat the hot dog bun once I run out of hot dog. If there's a nub of hot dog bun, I just, I leave it. I don't eat that. Uh, a couple steaks and yeah, that's what I got. So, you guessed 175. Mm -hmm. I think I didn't do too bad. I got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, you do have a lot okay. of stuff. Grand total is $190.56. Oh dang. Let us know down in the comments which side you would rather have. I'm sure if you're vegan or vegetarian, it's obvious which one you'd pick, but there's some stuff in here that's like not the healthiest, but all right, I don't think we did too bad. So well, combined, we're probably what? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a lot for groceries. Yeah, man, groceries aren't cheap anymore. No. We're both trying to make the point to evolve our eating habits, how much we've been exercising and doing more. So we'll see how much this changes over time to things that you might not see the next time we do this and things that you will so all right uh we'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye <laughs> <laughs>